what is up rc enthusiasts back here again today as you can see this one right here is an enos 10 scale 4x4 brushless two cell truck that comes with a two cell 4000 milliamp hour shorty pack and you know what i wasn't even interested in this truck but banggood asked me if i was willing to review this one for them and when i checked that out i realized hey check it out it's brushless it's four wheel drive it's got metal gears metal drive shafts metal axles it might be pretty good and the Enos brand, if you guys don't know, you can get spare parts for this brand on hbx.com or there's a website online that's called HBX. I'll put it on the link below. So if parts availability is that good, so it can't be that bad. The only thing I don't like about this truck so far, is only one little thing. But well, let's go ahead and let's show you what the truck looks like. There you go. Look at that sucker right there. It's pretty nice. If I had to guess the scale and they didn't tell me this was a 10 scale truck i would have guessed maybe 12 scale a little bit bigger i'd put it in between a 12 and a 10 scale if i had to say it was because my monster truck my 10 scale monster trucks are just a little bit bigger than this so maybe 11 scale <laughs> but anyway guys yeah this thing is pretty nice let me get this body off right here so i could show you the nice innards this thing's got because this thing has got some pretty cool stuff going on to it and also some pretty weird stuff so i'll show you both those things right now and let me know what you think about it by the way it comes with a decent lexan body as you can tell right there unlike on the box where you can see they misspelled their own name up here i'm surprised to find the body actually has it spelled correctly so that's pretty good right there and as you can tell the wing is only held on by body clips as well down here and two more body clips up here but that is a molded plastic wing right there, so that's pretty cool. The body doesn't look too bad. I still do have the plastic protective film over this thing. One little thing I did have to do out of the box, which I just want to note to you guys right now, if you guys can't tell, you see this little cut right here? I had to cut them slightly, just very little on both sides like, like that, just because they were rubbing on the tires when you turned. That was the only gripe I had with it, and I just cut those off and issue solved. And here's the truck right here, as you can tell. It's not a two-in-one ESC combo, it's its own ESC, own receiver, brushless ESC, brushless motor right there, 540 size. Nice setup right there, 4,000 milliamp hour shorty pack. And a Dean's plug already, so it's ready to go. Metal in here. I mean, sorry, I pointed at the wrong spot. Right here, your diffs, metal ring and pinion gears in here. Here you have a plastic spur with a brass pinion gear in here. And this seems to be right here, I haven't really inspected it closely, but just looking at the shaft that this servo horn connects to, seems to be a metal geared servo right here. Unbranded, no name on that whatsoever, but it is a three wire, and as you can tell right there, it's on receiver, which is awesome. So it's all separate. As you can tell back here, your drive shafts are going to be metal, or your axles. Center drive shaft is metal as well. I'm not sure if I could show that to you. Uh, I think you could see it right there. Yeah, there you go. The shaft up there is metal. So the only thing this doesn't have is oil-filled shocks. So these are supposed to be oil-filled shocks, they say on the box, but they are actually not. There is oil in there just to lubricate stuff, and you can put oil in there because it has seals, so it could hold oil. The only problem is the shock shaft on this thing doesn't have a piston attached to it. Yeah, so that shock shaft is just going to be moving up and down there, and there won't be any actual dampening going on in there. So yeah, it could be an oil-filled shock, but dampening? Nope. And one little other thing I'll show you in the picture right now. These... These tires are not that bad. I'd say they're about as hard as like an RTR Traxxas Slash tire. You know those BF Goodriches you get with the Traxxas Slash? It's about that soft. But it's really weird. If you could tell, I can yank this tire right off of here. But that doesn't mean it comes off easily because this tire is stuck on there. It is actually on a beadlock wheel. As you can tell, I'll post a picture right here. The beadlock is in the inside for both the inside and outside bead, which is weird. So you can see, actually see the tire go all the way to the inside bead on both sides. It's kind of weird. I don't know why, what that's about. Maybe helps from ballooning or I know it's a completely sealed tire so you can't get water in there. And the waterproofness of this vehicle, that I have no clue of. ESC that's included in here says it's 45 amp. Kind of resembles a hobby wing a little bit, but I'm just not sure what it is. It says brushless motor ESC, 3S capable, 6 volt BEC, made by fly color. That's what it says in there. But no waterproof signal anywhere on this thing. So I would stay away from water 
with this for now until you waterproof everything yourself. Oh yeah, and before we go all out, I forgot to show you the transmitter. Needs three double A's, which is pretty convenient, very less batteries needed. You have your th throttle trim, it says right here, which is just your dual rate, so you can turn the speed up and down, then your steering rate and your steering trim. The steering rate is just to give you more throw on your steering or less throw, pretty much. That's what that's for. And the trim is just to center this out if it's not driving straight. And then you have your throttle reversing and steering reversing. Just in case your motor is going the opposite direction, you can reverse it here, or you could reverse it by switching two wires on the brushless motor. And you could reverse it here for the steering, just in case the steering is off right here. If you turn right and it goes left, then you just switch that right there. So pretty simple transmitter. You know, it's not the best, but you know, it fits in the hand good and the steering feels good and it's not bad. The ESC seems to be programmable. Here's a little ESC card or manual it came with to program the ESC. So hopefully we can program that ESC if we don't like the way it acts right now, but hopefully it's good out the box. Then of course your user manual. That's another version body that's on it right there, but it's the same truck. And here's your USB charger. I recommend just, you know, buy a hobby grade charger. It'll charge these batteries faster and these things aren't really that safe anyway. Don't ever leave these charging by themselves. Always watch these things closely. You get a screwdriver in there, a little hex wrench. Some people call it wheel wrench, hex wrench. I call it both, whichever comes out of my head first. You got wheel nuts, spare wheel nuts on there. Spare screws and spare body clips. And also some spare 12 millimeter hexes. Nice. It's all right, guys. Let's stop babbling about this guy right here. Let's take this guy out for a run. There you guys go. Woo, brushless beast. Woo. All right, guys, so what I've noticed so far is there's a little bit of delay in the throttle. There's probably like a punch setting in the ESC that we could change because if you look at it, if I punch it, there's a delay on there. Ooh, got some sand in my face. But other than that, oh man, it's, it's got some, definitely got something to it. What a fast little guy. Let's try to take him up this hill climb right here. Let's... Oh! Look at the tires ballooning because of the weird way they're mounted on there or beadlocked on there. Oh, I didn't even notice it rolled. I was trying to look at the hill, trying to get ready to attack it. Woo! Went up there like nothing. And it landed that sucker too.
There you go, as you can tell guys, man, this thing is a blast. Woo, tons of power. Try to make it up there. Whoa. Yeah. And the steering is kind of, the throw is kind of short on the steering. It's not as wide as I would normally like it to be. guys my verdict so far it's pretty fun I mean yeah of course we're gonna have to try some jumps and some hardcore stuff to see if it's more durable you know to test out the durability but out here in the sand it's a ton of fun and it likes to stay on its feet all right when I say that Well, there you go, guys. The Enos Extreme Off-Road right there. 10 scale, 2.4 gigahertz, brushless two cell, out the box, included two cell. Nice little truck right there. So you can tell, I didn't damage anything really. One thing did break. Like I, like I say, I always am honest in my review. So if something does break while I'm running, you are gonna see it and I'm gonna talk about it on the same video that I was running it on. So as you can tell right here, the rear body mounts broke off but those body posts are pretty affordable easy to replace and there's a lot more posts down there actually i'm not sure if you could tell in the video but there was a lot more posts sticking down there i could pretty much just unscrew that move it up and reuse the rest of that post down there so that's an easy fix for that but i have a feeling those posts are going to break again because they're not made of the greatest plastic so maybe some aftermarket body post would do a little better for this rig but other than that brushless motor close to 10 scale what more can you ask for and four wheel drive Tell me another company you can get all that for less than $200. Even less than $180, I think this is. I'm not even sure anymore. The link's in the description below. Let's check it out. I think it's between like $189.99 and $200 or something like that. So check it out. I enjoy it. And since it survived this pretty much, I'm going to replace those body posts or just fix it for now. And I'm going to put some oil shocks in this sucker right here. And we'll see what this thing can do with some oil shocks because that will tame it down a little bit more and make it handle a little bit better. But as you can tell in the soft sand, it didn't do too bad so as always guys it's always fun to review these things for you guys this one is a gem right here that i wasn't even willing to review ended up being a really cool little car uh, wheels are a little weird they balloon kind of weird i'm pretty sure you've seen that in a couple of the slow-mos but yeah, other than that i see nothing wrong with this thing you have a 4x4 brushless lipo included almost 10 scale rig right here i mean yeah i guess it is a 10 scale but to me it's just a tiny, a tad smaller, like 11 scale. But anyway, guys, great truck. Glad you guys came and stopped by to check out the channel. I hope you enjoy the content. And as always, don't forget, be safe out there and go run that RC.